Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, what a week I've had this week. It's been an absolute nightmare. Brand new MacBook Pro. Gone the journey. Logic boards blew up or something, so that's gone off to be repaired. My uh, new DJI mic will no longer work with the Apple phone. It says device not recognised. And the guy on the other end of the phone, DJI, just said, really? Which was really not very helpful at all. So I'm having to send that back to Holland. Now I'm in the UK. So what a nightmare that has been. Do you like my guitar, by the way? That was a project I did. I think you were in lockdown. Anyway, today we are going to be putting the solar panels on the roof of the van. So I'll probably just do a talk over afterwards and just record what's going on because the microphone's not working, as I've said. So I don't know whether it'll be too windy or what. So let's crack on and try to stop saying so, 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 so much. So, right, all right, let's get on with it. So the first job we have to do is to fasten the feet on so we know exactly where we're going to be screwing the uh, well we're going to be screwing the units under the roof itself and these go on like this this way down and these instructions about how to uh, put your nuts and bolts together I will show you so that goes onto the unit that goes through that so you've got the spring washer and the little washer it goes through and we've got the big washer and then the nut and it is advising that this surface that this surface which is connected to the solar panel itself is glued as well so I'll show you in a bit more detail I'm going to be using some of this stick and seal which is specifically for motorhomes and caravans and boats and stuff so it should be okay it's a sealant and an adhesive I guess not put too much on there. So I've got the nuts in, probably don't use as much sticky as what I've just used there. Give it a good, good tight nut. Obviously don't go too mental, it's glued on as well. That's not going anywhere. Give it a bit of a clean up. And then I'm going to go around on all of them, so I've got another seven to do. So let's get on with that one then. Right, I'm not going to put as much goo on this time. A couple of little dots, I think. That should do the job. It's a little bit fiddly. At least the weather's all right today, yeah? not raining. Yeah, I'm still getting goo all over, but got to make sure you don't get it on the surface which I think I might have just done right that won't tighten up so I'm gonna to have to get a spanner underneath it so I've got a little spanner which is a 10 mil so that will fit under there just nicely and this one's a 10 mil as well of course on the socket there you go nice and tight So there you have it, we've just got the other one to do now. They're all nice and secure. And they'll be solid as rocks. I guess if I'd used a, a black sealant, it wouldn't have looked as messy. <laughs> or at least I can see where it's going. So we've got a little production line going now. I've got them up on the roof exactly where I want them and they fit perfect. The two middle bits uh, I'm gonna put together so it'll be one bolt coming through the two middle bits but now we've got to check to make sure that I'm not going to be drilling through where these are but you can guarantee it's exactly where we're going to be now I know it starts about there so we've made a template and oh look at that that exit could not be more in the way 
So that's a disaster. Let's have a look at this one. This one's all right. So the only thing I can do is come further this way. Which means me taking up more room on the roof. So far past them we're going to have to be. Oh, the hands. Which means, which is, you know, that's okay for what we've got. But for future proof, and it means that we're probably not going to be able to get another two this way. We'd get one in, we'd get one in going that way. And that there's one on the other side of this window where I won't be able to fit two in. I doubt. Nah. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Can I go further that way? So I'll be past the world. Right. Decisions to be made. Have you tried different ways round? I haven't tried the other way, to be honest. I mean, I can go. Can go there. And over. And that would do it. So, can I go this way? Is that what you say? Yeah, just try different ways. Well, no, because they're in the way again. Yeah. Unless I went there. And there. And then it doesn't leave any room for one, so the optimum way is to go further this way. Yeah. I guess. Let's do it. So I've measured from the inside and uh, I've moved them along and I think that's just about it. What I am concerned about is all these rusty marks on the top, which are from the iron filings from when we put the, uh, the roof vent in. Now I cleaned them up pretty damn good, but still there. We have a problem with the flange. How is that? supposed to go through that tiny little hole it just doesn't so I'm just wondering do I cut it off and put a block on it do I try and slice down the middle of that prise it apart and then glue it back together oh god it's never easy is it I bought these connectors so all you do is um Take the edge off, well I'll show you, and then just push them in. Right, here we go, first hole. Fingers crossed. Make sure we get all these uh, filings up. Get the Uber. Yeah. I'm gonna drill one on this side over here. So we just have to make sure it's not coming through on the inside so you'll have to go and have a look in there okay so brenda passed them back up to me and uh we got them in position and i started to screw them down with these lovely bolts all right i'm filling around the holes what it tells you to do. I'll get the nuts and washers ready. You probably can't hear me because it's dead windy and my stupid microphone's broken so Brenda could do a talk over. <laughs> Make sure I've got the wires both the same way around. I think this is going to be easy. Can't get my hands in. I had to do it this way because there wasn't enough room to get them across. Go on. <laughs> Can you get that phone out? Mm. There you go. 
looked a bit gungy, but I was going to see up here. Seagulls. Always one, and it's this one here. There you go. Right, it's a bit of a mess, but I'm going to get them fastened on the inside, and then get them all cleaned up. <laughs> oh, look at that mess! I can't leave that like that. Give us a towel. I'll we'll clean that up. <laughs> We've got all the bolts coming through. We've got some little washers in there, and the nuts on the end. Now these are locking nuts. They've got nylon inserts inside so once they're up they're pretty tight so i'm gonna to have to fasten them from the top but brenda is gonna to have to hold them hold them while i tighten them up so we'll start from here do that then we'll go like that unless i do the end ones first i'll, I'll tell you right i'm getting back up on the roof and uh, thanks to me dad who died i don't know 18 years ago I'm still finding in his toolbox these little washers because <laughs> my big washers weren't big enough to get in behind this. So, right, I'm going to squirt some stick and seal in there as well. So I just went round and I fastened them all up one by one. It was a bit awkward and it was killing me back, to be honest. But we got there in the end. I had to use a long extension on the middle ones. Right, it's time to put that flange on. I really wanted to put it on the side, but the wires wouldn't reach, so I had to put it in the middle there. It'll be fine. Uh, so we just need to get a hole drilled in there now. So I drilled it with a pilot drill bit first, and then uh, moved on to my big, meaty big one, which isn't the sharpest in the world. We're going to need to clean that up a bit because you don't want any sharp edges and uh, definitely needs painting over, but get rid of them iron filings. So I'll give it a clean with the grinder a little bit, and I did the inside too, and uh, painted both sides. That should do the job just right. I put a little tiny drill bit in there, so there's some, uh, about five or six holes in the flange, but I just used three because it's going to be stuck down anyway. But, uh, you know, make sure we get plenty of gunge on there to make a nice watertight seal. Right, cut the ends off the wires and um, thread them both through and then down through the hole. Try not to get gunge all over the place, but it's a bit difficult. Press your flange down nice and tight. <laughs> I meant to leave that on the other side so I knew it was a negative. Ah, oh, you bastard! Alright. I fastened it down with three self tappers, I think that would be plenty. And don't forget to tighten them up as well. Don't want any water getting in there, do we? <laughs> well, there it is done. If you can hear me. <laughs> it's been hard work, but well, it always is, isn't it? I've already connected this one up using these, uh, like these little connectors. So I knew that was a positive and I know this one's a negative because I had put a little marker on the positive one. So now I just need to, uh, oh, where's me thing gone? <laughs> there they are, love these. Specky's back on. So I'm just gonna trim off about, about 15 millimeters might be too much I'm sure it'll be fine give it a bit of a twist and we've got the other end so you may be able to see a bit of there didn't take as much off there And these clips, if you can see, 
Now the guy in the shop told me just to push them straight in. But I'm getting much more sense out of them when you lift them up. Push it in. That's nice and tight. So same again with this one. And that's that. I am going to put some uh, insulation tape around these. I'm sure they're safe, but I can still see a little bit of wire there. Maybe it's because it's too long. Take a bit off the end. Give it a twist and shout. Open it up. Pop it in. There you go, it's nice and tight. So I'm just going to wrap some insulation tape around them. I'm pretty sure the whole idea of uh, these little connectors is that you don't have to use such ancient things as insulation tape. <laughs> but as they're going to be covered by a timber ceiling, I just thought it won't hurt, will it? There you go. Right, so all we have to do now, I'm going to bring the EcoFlow in, I'm going to plug that in, and we will see what happens. Not much sun today, so I don't think it will do much. So here's the lead. We've got off eBay. I've already tried these in the garden and it worked, so assuming that these connections work. No male to female. Yeah, it's a negative, just making sure. That plugs in there, that plugs in there. Now this is all going to be tied up, up here, coming round, and we have enough room to charge the EcoFlow wherever it goes. It can go over here, it can go over there. I don't know yet. Let's go and get it. All right, we're going to try it, but as I said, there isn't much sun. We will plug it in and see what happens. That's it, we are connected. Turn it round. We will turn it on. Oh, turned itself on. And we've got, oh, we've got a little bit of input from the sun, but not much. But like I said, it's very, very cloudy. We've got 27, 27 watts coming in. Would that be right? Yeah. So it says 27 watts coming in. Don't know whether you can see that. I'm surprised even on a, a day like this that we're getting anything to be honest, but it's better than nothing, isn't it? So there you go. It's in, it's working. I <laughs> just have to tidy it all up now. <laughs> We've got one of these lovely little fans for the van. It's quite warm, isn't it? It is. That'll do. Bit like a Slow hair dryer. Enjoy your hair run. <laughs> and uh, that's me lot for now. Our lot. So thank you from me and Brenda for watching. And please give us a thumbs up. And there you go. Big mucky thumb from Brenda. <laughs> and uh, if you subscribe as well, that would be brilliant. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye bye now. Bye bye.